find the efficiency of a cycle which has two isobaric lines and two adiabatic lines and it's also given that during the process pressure increases n times so let's find the efficiency so efficiency is w by q1 and uh, here the work done is positive so q1 is positive so here the heat is taken in and here the heat is released so work is q1 minus mod of q2 by q1 so this is our efficiency which we need to find now both these processes 1 to 2 and 3 to 4 are isobaric processes and we know heat in isobaric processes is ncpdt so for isobaric process delta q is ncp delta t so this we can write as cp into n delta t and by gas equation n delta t is p delta v because p is constant so now q2 we can write as cp into p into change in volume so that is v3 minus v4 cp into p into v3 minus v4 and q1 for this part will be cp into np into v2 minus v1 so cp into np into v2 minus v1 so now we need the ratio of v3 minus v4 upon v2 minus v1 so we are going to use the these two adiabatic processes to get our ratio so let's uh, write the relation between pressure and volume because we know the ratio of pressures and we want the ratio of volumes so for the both the adiabatic processes for 2 to 3 so we are going to use this equation so from 2 to 3 np into v2 raised power gamma is equal to p into v3 raised power gamma and from 4 to 1 so let's write for 1 first so np into v1 raised power gamma is equal to p into v4 raised power gamma so because we need this ratio let's uh, let's uh, take the root of gamma both sides in both the equations so we get n power 1 by gamma times v2 is equal to v3 and n power 1 by gamma v1 is equal to v4 so now we can subtract these two to get this ratio so when we subtract these two equations we get v2 minus v1 into n power 1 minus 1 by gamma is equal to v3 minus v4 or we get this ratio as n power 1, mi 1 by gamma so we put that here so this becomes n power 1 by gamma upon this n which gives our efficiency to be 1 minus n power 1 minus gamma by gamma all right